circus coming to town. How about that? You guys feel like you, uh, last week prepared you somewhat for that? A little bit different style. I think a little bit different family of, uh, of stuff. Um, same thought process, though, as far as the tempo goes. And, and um, you know, I, I think these guys do a really good job offensively because they're able to mix in some tempo, uh, which, you know, gets you on your heels a little bit, along with just being able to slow things down and shift in motion and trade and do some, you know, things that will challenge you mentally, too. You know, sometimes you play tempo teams, but they're somewhat simple formationally. These guys are, are tempo, but they also can switch gears on you and, and get into uh, some stuff that challenges you a little bit, too. So really, really well coached team. Even though they threw it 59 times last week, they seem to be capable of being very balanced. It's, in, it's interesting. Um, you know, conventional wisdom would tell you if your backup quarterback's in, you rely on the run game. And they kind of went the opposite way with it. And um, I think some of it is um, you take what, what you're given, too. Um, you know, and BYU was was doing some things that maybe would lend itself to throwing the football a little bit more. And so um, they took advantage of it and they did a great job. I think he throws the ball really well and uh, I can see why they're comfortable throwing the football with him. Why do you think you guys came up with so many interceptions last game? You know, it's just a, it's, it's a magical thing that, that, you know, sometimes it happens. And, and uh, I think, um, um, you know, there's no answer to that. I mean, there's no magic calls. There's no magic, you know, things that anybody did. VJ Payne made a tremendous play on one. That was, uh, that was a, a great individual effort. Um, Kobe Savage actually was a great individual individual effort in the in the end zone too, because he was just in a single high defense and he got over and uh, played outside the numbers, which was phenomenal range for a guy. Um, so there was a couple of really just tremendous individual efforts, and then sometimes uh, they happen. You know, we had an overthrow that was. Um, uh, again, probably a pretty good individual effort, nothing that would show up on the stat sheet, but Bo Palmer did a really nice d job of getting uh, some depth in an underneath zone, and the quarterback floated a little bit, and it ended up in Kobe Savage's hands. And then, you know, we're giving Kobe a little bit of grief for dropping one that probably uh, my grandmother could have caught. And, uh, but, uh, but uh, you know, sometimes that stuff happens too. So it, it's uh, no answer. We're just going to keep playing hard, and sometimes those things fall into your lap. It's, uh, what is Will Lee's availability this late in the week? Practiced yesterday um, and, and felt good afterwards. He'll practice again today, and, and we'll see how she goes. How are you looking at linebacker? Do you have a, enough bodies to make it through? We're trying. Uh, uh, we're, we're out there scouring the uh, the sidewalks looking for bodies. But, um, no, it's, it's, it's fine. We've got some good, capable players there. It's just, you know, we're having to dual train some guys, which is, which is difficult. Um, you know, we've been doing that with Jake Clifton an awful lot. We're starting to do that a little bit more with Des Purnell. Um, and so we're putting some guys in some, in some spots that are, that are difficult. Austin Romaine just continues to get better and better as a true freshman. Um, you know, Austin Moore is as solid as ever, and, and, you know, he can do anything we ask him to do. And so um, we have capable bodies there. It's just the, you know, the, the mental strain probably more so than the physical on some of those guys because of what we're asking them to do, multiple roles. In the event that Romaine is not available, do you like to have Jake Clifton still be that guy that can play everywhere rather than slot him right in? At yeah, Jake's comfortable at doing everything we're asking him to do. And Bo Palmer's been playing better, and we're very comfortable with him also. And uh, we, we feel good about um, a, a good crew of guys there. And, you know, we, we still have some guys that maybe haven't played as many snaps um, with uh, um, Toby. And, uh, you know, also uh, when these guys get into some of the smaller personnel groups, we have the uh, availability of maybe putting some more DBs out on the field, you know, now that we're getting a little bit healthier there. You know, that wasn't an option for a couple weeks when we were missing Jacob Parrish and we're missing Will Lee and we're, you know, uh, but now that uh, we hope to be fully whole there, maybe we can do some of that stuff too to take some snaps off of those guys. What kind of progress has Kirksey made? He's he's coming along. You know, he's just um, different style of intensity, I think, than what he's used to um, in terms of what's going on. You know, with the big boys. You know, I, I think he was he had a nice job in fall camp, and he was progressing nicely. Uh, was, you know, we were very comfortable with him. And then he had an injury and missed an extended period of time. And then when he's come back, he just hasn't been quite clicking. Um, and it, it, there's no nothing to put your finger on. Um, you know, he's got the uh, ability to do it. He understands what we're doing. He just hadn't been able to put it together well enough for us to, to say he's a guy right now. What are the challenges of facing a, a young, skilled quarterback, but there's really no tape on him? Yeah, that's a... Uh, um, 
That's an interesting uh, question. They, they, I, I think he throws the ball really well. Um, we don't have a lot of things in terms of his tendencies of, you know, hey, he scrambles this way or he, you know, um, you know, that's something that we'll have to figure out as the, as the game goes on. But I know he's very capable of running what, what uh, they're asking him to do. And I think he reads the RPO game well. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll, have to, we'll have to make adjustments on the fly. How dangerous can TCU be with those deep balls? Um, you know, they've got skill guys as well uh, as deep as anybody in the conference. You know, I, it's hard to say. They have so many receivers that they play. Uh, the tailbacks are explosive. The tight end, I, I've said for years, is, is one of the best players in the league. I really feel highly about Wiley. And um, they've got a backup tight end that I think is a really good player, too. They're, they're good up front. This is a really good football team. And uh, it's going to be a challenge for us. Is it more fun or less fun to play a team three times in the short of a span? Uh, as long as we're playing in a championship game, I think it's fun, no matter who it is. But uh, um, I, I think it's cool. I think, it's, uh, I think it means something to both teams. I think we both kind of uh, have a mutual respect for one another. I, you know, we certainly respect what they do and, and what they've done with their program and, and them representing the Big 12 in the, in the college football playoff. And, uh, you know, they're different because of the coordinator change on offense. So that, that uh, you know, makes things maybe a little bit different on our side of the ball as opposed to, to Colin's side. But, um, but you know, still the, 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 some of the same cast of characters, you know, I think our guys remember some of those names and, and uh, are excited for the challenge. World got C. Avery last week. Has he ever run for five or more touchdowns against you guys in practice? Not that I recall. Um, you know, but we we get some quick whistles sometimes. So uh, he's talented, isn't he? It's it's fun to watch him. And I thought, uh, you know, not that we we needed it. I, I you know, we have just tremendous confidence in, in Will. I think Will's phenomenal, and I, it was cool though to to see him, um, you know, a local Kansas guy getting off like that and 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 um, playing the way he did. Or has Siegel come in his transition from corner to safety, and what kind of concepts is he grasping in terms of coverage? Oh, he's yeah. I, I wouldn't trade uh, Siegel for any safety in the league. You know, I, I feel great, and Kobe Savage is getting so much better, and I, I feel so great about. Uh, the progressions that we made in that room. You know, we need to continue to develop depth there. But, um, you know, I think Marquise is, is playing at a very high level right now.